Welcome to PrepAdvisor's Debate of the Month, dedicated to the best ways to finance your MBA studies. My name is Buyana. Our special guest today is Natalia. Hello, Natalia, and thank you for joining us. Hello, Buyana, and thank you for inviting me. So, Natalia, could you please tell us a bit about yourself? Uh, yes, uh, sure. Uh, my name is Natalia, and uh, I did an MBA in International Business in uh, MIB School of Management. Mm -hmm. Uh, in Trieste. Uh, I completed my degree in 2013 and I'm currently working as an international project manager for a company that organizes uh, business education events all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and since our topic today is the best way to finance your MBA, could you share with us uh, how did you finance your MBA studies? Um, yes, uh, sure. Uh, so I was very lucky because I was able to get uh, a scholarship, which is rare uh, for an MBA degree, and uh, then I got uh, also a grant, uh, so I was able to get uh, a considerable amount of money back uh, mm -hmm. after I completed my degree. Mm -hmm. And uh, what percentage of your overall costs were covered by the, by the scholarship and the grant? Uh, the tuition fee was 50% covered by uh, the scholarship that I got. Mm -hmm. Uh, then about 30% was uh, grant, this grant that I mentioned, and uh, the rest, uh, the rest uh, I funded with personal savings. Mm -hmm. I see. The scholarship that you received, was it uh, provided by the university or another institution? Uh, it was provided uh, by the university and uh, actually by the university sponsors, to be more precise, mm -hmm. because the school that I graduated from is established uh, as a consortium of um, uh, major businesses in northern Italy, and in particular the region of uh, Friuli Venezia Giulia. So the sponsors of the schools are the ones that uh, determine who is going to get a scholarship, mm -hmm. uh, and this is... Um, is integrated in the admissions process. Uh -huh. uh, so what uh, kind of a scholarship was it? Uh, was it merit-based or need-based? It was entirely merit-based, yeah. It was entirely merit-based. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, what was the application process for the scholarship? Uh, well, as I mentioned, uh, the application process was uh, integrated into the uh, admissions process for the school. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, uh, the amount of scholarship that you will get uh, is uh, determined by the admissions committee of the, uh, of the school and uh, after you uh, get your feedback on your application, um, they let you know also the amount of scholarship that has been uh, allocated to you. Mm -hmm. And uh, which were the most important factors that the um, scholarship committee considered? Uh, well, it was um, uh, a combination of uh, factors. Uh, partly they consider your profile, your mm -hmm. professional experience, uh, uh, then uh, it's your uh, test scores and GMAT scores, uh, the overall quality of your application, admissions essays, motivation, mm -hmm. they evaluate uh, your motivation uh, during the admissions um, interview and uh, they determine actually how much uh, you will be useful for the school and uh, also the potential for you to be uh, useful for one of the sponsors and uh, to uh, maybe do an internship uh, for them after mm -hmm. you complete uh, your classes. Did you, did you um, complete an internship? Yes. You? I did an internship in um, Electrolux Professional in the mm -hmm. headquarters, which is located in Italy. Uh, and I was part of the global uh, product management unit, so I'm really happy that I had this uh, experience. And um, to go back again to the um, um, conditions for uh, getting the scholarship, I wanted to ask you, what is your GMAT score? And it was his 650. Mm -hmm. Uh, in, uh, but indeed, um, uh, MIB School of Management uh, is uh, not requiring uh, the GMAT test. I mean, it, it is not compulsory okay. uh, because they have also a test of their own. Mm -hmm. So many of the uh, local Italian students, they prefer to travel to Trieste and to take the um, uh, admission school, uh, tests of the school, mm -hmm. which are also based on the GMAT, basically. They are covering more or less the same and you decided, more or less the same skills. And you decided to take the GMAT? 
I decided to take the GMAT, yeah, because it would be very complicated for me to travel uh, yeah. 1,000 kilometers, <laughs> and the GMAT, uh, I could take it in my native country. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, and what about the grant? You mentioned that you also had a grant. Uh, could you tell us a bit more about it? Yes, uh, sure. So um, this is a program, uh, <coughs> I think it was subsidized by the European mm -hmm. Social Fund. Uh, and uh, it's a regional initiative of the region of uh, Friuli Venezia Giulia, where Trieste is based. Uh, under the terms of this program, uh, if you uh, complete uh, uh, an educational um, graduate de degree in, in Trieste, in, mm -hmm. in this region, after uh, the completion of your education, uh, you're getting uh, uh, up to 5,000 euro back. <laughs> but this is uh, after you successfully complete your degree. Okay. Yeah. So that was the uh, that was the condition. That, yes, that was the condition. Yeah. And uh, how did you cover your living and travel expenses? Uh, with uh, personal savings and uh, a little bit of uh, family support. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how many of your peers in your MBA class uh, received some kind of financial aid? Do you have um, any idea? About, uh, about half of the people. Half of the people? Yeah, we were a um, small class because mm -hmm. uh, boutique school, so yeah. to say. <laughs> and so we were a small uh, class in um, a small uh, group of people. Uh, basically about uh, half of the people, uh, they were able to make use of uh, some of the scholarship opportunities provided by the school. And uh, the rest, um, they were also people that uh, they were covering uh, with uh, personal funds or their employed, uh, employers were uh, funding the MBAs or even some, uh, in some cases um, uh, there were some governmental programs uh, in their yeah. native countries. Mm -hmm. uh, so based on your experience, uh, could you advise prospect MBA applicants uh, about what is the best way to finance your MBA? Well, uh, it really much depends on your personal circumstances. Uh, mm, of course, uh, probably the best way would be to get your employer paid for that, but yeah. <laughs> not all of that uh, have the perfect circumstances. So my advice to applicants would be to uh, do a very uh, thorough and comprehensive research uh, before deciding um, uh, on a business school. Um, this is what I did and it worked uh, great for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, and this was um, uh, the major factor that um, at the end affected my decision to pursue my MBA degree there because the quality cost ratio was excellent. Mm -hmm. So I would um, really uh, recommend um, to uh, all potential MBA candidates to, to explore various options and to find the best uh, the, the solution that works best for them. That's great advice. Thank you, Natalia. It was great talking to you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Buyana. It was my pleasure. I believe that Natalia's story will be helpful to you. Join the debate on the best way to finance your MBA. Share your experience, ask questions, comment or vote on prepadvisor.com.